Alrighty, Cancer, how are we doing? Welcome to your mid monthly reading. This is going to be for July 2020, for the second half. And today we're taking a look at the, at the connection that you're dealing with, okay? Um, so keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, you can always check your other signs or any other reading on YouTube um, for that matter. And keep in mind that the rules could be reversed. If this does resonate, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. That really helps the channel to grow, something that I really wish. So I would greatly appreciate it. Hello. Um, and also, next week we'll have a bonus reading. So, oh my god. This is a little bit all over the place. But it's like, it's a wanting to rush things. So are you wanting to rush things, Cancer? Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, next week we'll have a bonus reading, and I already kind of know what I want to do in that bonus reading, but if you ever have any suggestions or comments or, um, or requests about uh, readings, then definitely comment, and I'll take note, and possibly do it eventually. So, starting with your reading, we have service, perfection, self-worth, soulmate, and then acceptance and wisdom. I've, I have this feeling that you just know. You have this, um, I feel like you've gained a lot of knowledge of, from yourself. You're in this very good place with yourself where you just accept who you are. And when it comes to your feelings, I, I feel like you just know when someone is right for you. And more than that, I feel like you know exactly when to give, when not to give. I also see some sort of insecurity. It's not really insecurity. It's more like um, not being sure. You know it, but you don't know it 100%. What are the intentions of this person? Are you meant to be with this person? That sort of thing. Some sort of insecurity. Some sort of, oh my god, what am I doing? Um, but at the same time, I feel like you are very secure of yourself to make the move. Right? I feel like when it comes to your uh, perception of yourself and to your self-confidence and all that, when it comes to you, you are totally fine. When it comes to others and relationships, you are a little bit, oh my god, I don't know what to do. Okay? It's looking like that. So what... Oh my god. Look who popped out. This could be the one. So it's that thing. I feel like you, you, deep down you know it. But at the same time you're like, is it though? Is it really? Because I kind of feel like you also had other expectations. Um, where this very uh, clear view of what it would look like. Right? how the one, your one, would look like. And I feel like they are completely different. But at the same time, you know it, right? Because of the conversations that you have, um, we have getting to know each other. You might not know this person very well, and that's why you're so confused. It's because you don't know them that well. They are very recent, and you already have these strong feelings for them. We have make the effort. Oh, wow. We have a wedding. Anything else for Cancer? No. Okay. So yeah, you already see a future. Big blossoming future. Um and that that rush that was getting, it's like you want to move things, but at the same time, is it stupid to move things this fast, this soon? Uh, but you just know it. It's like you just know it. You could actually be dealing with, who was it? Uh, with the Capricorn. I don't know, if you were dealing with a Capricorn, you might want to deal to look at that uh, reading. Because their partner, they just knew it, right? So um, you could resonate with that reading too. But we'll see, Capricorn pops out. All right, let's see. For Cancer, July 2020, for the second half. 
Over our energy, we have the Empress. This is Taurus Libra energy. And I feel like there is a lot of growth. It's like whenever whatever you needed to end, it, you came to an end. And now it's resurfacing. It's uh, not... It's not like that. It's like it's reborning. You're sort of reborn, or you already reborn. It's like you're a grown up person right now, and you're very powerful. And that was only possible with hard work, right? And now things are just coming to you because you're searching a good place. Things are just coming to you. So it's normal that you're receiving the one, especially having this Ten of Cups right here, uh, with a lot of love, Six of Cups. Page of Cups, someone coming towards you with a lot of love. Don't doubt it because it's true, okay? It's real. Don't doubt your emotions. So let's see, okay, what is your energy? Oh, God, okay. Anything else? For some of you, if you're already in a relationship, specifically a marriage, you probably want to, to get pregnant or you want to have children. Um, okay, so for your current energy, we have, well, pentacles energy, so it could be that Capricorn, but we're getting Taurus especially. Uh, we also have a lot of air energy, okay, with this Aquarian here, with the star Aquarian energy, ten of swords. We have the Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Tower, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. A lot of commitment, a lot of stability that's coming towards you. And I feel like you doubt it because you were healing from something so fast that you kind of freaked yourself out. Like, whoa, I groomed so much. How could this happen in such a short period of time? Right? Because things are moving really, really fast. And that's why you doubt it so much. Um, and I do feel like you were holding back very recently. This wasn't a very long time ago, but you had a tower moment. I feel like this already happened. And now you are in that healing process. And once that is over, you're receiving this, all this stability and being grounded and just that, just knowing that just knowing comes from that tower moment and comes from healing. So you did it, Cancer. You did it. Don't doubt yourself, okay? Let's see your person's energy. Okay. So we have the Moon, the Five of Cups the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. This is telling me that they are suffering for some reason. It could be from past relationships, past hurt, and they're not really talking about it because they might be scared of pushing you off, pushing you away, right? But they do want to open up. They are just scared to do it. And that might actually be a reason why you're so, I don't know. Like, I know that this person, we have this great connection and I know that they could be the one, but they just don't open up. That could be it. That could be what um, makes you feel so insecure and so um, confused. But they do want to communicate. I do feel like they are scared of pushing you away for opening up. Right? So let's see your feelings about this person. Your feelings in regards to this person, in regards to this connection. I don't even know why I ask. <laughs> okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. A lot of love, wish fulfillment. And they just make you feel good. They make you be the better person. It's like you just glow and just grow whenever you're with them. That's really pretty. So beautiful. Such beautiful energy. There's a lot of love. And that's why um, that's why you just know it. I kind of feel like you never felt like this before with anyone. Let me see. What are there? <laughs> yeah, there it is, that Capricorn energy. Great. Let's see. 
anything else. This is a lot of stuff. I'm going to take the ones that flipped and take this back. Okay. Let me just take a look. I do feel like they are also trying to be a better person to get uh, to balance themselves, right? We have three three queens here: Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Wands. They have a lot of emotion towards you, a lot of passion, and I also feel like they have a lot of mental activity. Um, not only they can stop thinking about you, but also they overthink things, especially because of past relationships that they haven't healed, and it's creating this uh, Capricorn energy around them of what is happening, of, of, of fear, of where is this going? I don't know what this is going. It, this could be, this could lead to the same thing as it happened in the past, and they are scared of that, right? But there is a strong wanting of moving towards you in a very slow way so if you want to move fast you kind of need to be a little bit patient okay because they want to move things slowly so they know where they are getting into right they might seem a little bit back and forth it's just because of that past pain and that that inner conflict right but they just feel like this is meant to be right they can't stop thinking about you and they definitely want this new beginning with you and they they feel like it was brought to them by the universe like this is divine that you are meant to be together. But at the same time, they have that fear of things repeating. Okay? So let me get some advice for you. Some messages. Advice and messages from the universe. Okay, I think that's said. <laughs> yes, this is real. Okay. So we have stop. Stop doubting yourself, okay? Stop doubting it. What are your dreams telling you? Um, you were receiving, I don't feel like it's communication from this person. I do feel like it's a message from your higher self that you kind of need to be aware of, all right? Uh, we also have your wishes are coming true. You could be scripting. That is working, so keep doing it, okay? This could also be about journaling. Put your emotions there. Put your thoughts there. Look around. There's something you're not seeing. Keep it up in mind, and I'm worth more. This I'm worth more, I'm actually getting the other way. It's... Um, that you are might feel like you are not worthy of this beautiful relationship that it's blossoming from here, you are. Right? You are. And again, just let go a little bit of control. Don't don't try to think, okay, this is how it's supposed to happen. No, just keep an open mind about how things should happen. Okay? So, Cancer, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated and helped somehow. And I'll see you next month. Okay, bye-bye.